Time Animations coming to you with our next character bio and today we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorite characters. I've mentioned it plenty of times on uh, my channel. Uh, obviously we have Optimus Prime, obviously we have Grimlock, obviously I've said um, Transformers Prime uh, RC and, um, and I've also mentioned how Springer is uh, one of those characters that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, he's like the action hero. Um, he's chivalrous. He's good-hearted. He's he's a hero, right? He puts himself in harm's way to save and protect others. Um, even from his voice, it's just very iconic. Uh, so he's actually one of my favorites. And I knew once I did this project that I had to put him in here. And uh, he was going to be a, a one of those characters that was going to be memorable, right? Uh, not only was he memorable in his first appearance in the 1986 movie, um, but he continued to be memorable, at least for me, uh, throughout, uh, throughout you know, the entire series uh, as far as it, it went. Um, it's really a shame that we never really got a very, very good uh, Springer action figure up until we've got the, uh, what was it, the Generations uh, character. I've kind of gone over him before uh, in one of my toy reviews. Um, that one is honestly one of my favorites. I, I don't think the, uh, the new action figure from the, uh, the Netflix series does it any justice. Um, again, it's, it's an old, um, it's a, it's a rendition of the old toy, uh, or the way the character looked back in the eighties, uh, modernized, which if you're going from that route, it, you know, it's, it's two thumbs up, but anyhow. Let's go ahead and read his bio. We'll get into his bio and we'll see uh, what's going on with him, right? So his bio states, Springer is a selfless hero at Spark who is always willing to do what it takes to get the job done, especially when protecting his peers. He's not only the first Autobot triple changer, but also the lieutenant of the Wreckers. Springer's been in many battles that have spanned across the galaxy, but none more haunting than the battle against the Combaticons. So let's dissect that, right? Of course, he's mimicking exactly who he was originally. I didn't want to change that aspect about Springer. I really enjoyed uh, this superhero persona that he that he displays within the uh, uh, within the Transformers uh, universe. So I kind of wanted to mimic that going into into this storyline. So I didn't want to change the core essence of who Springer is. Uh, one of the cool things that it mentions is he's the lieutenant of the uh, Wreckers, right? Uh, we already know that Magnus was put in charge of the Wreckers, um, and who he brought along to help him get them in line was Springer. <clears throat> so Springer was able to uh, to fit in as Ultra Magnus' second in command when it came to the Wreckers. So there's some history there between Springer, Wheeljack, bulkhead and we'll see that play out within the film and the project itself right another thing is there's history right with the combaticons as you can see there uh it, it says that he had a haunting battle with the the combaticons now i've said this before in other videos that megatron specifically handpicked each combaticon or or the combaticons right as a direct response to the Wreckers. The Wreckers were just having so many victories uh, battle-wise against the Decepticons. So Megatron said, you know what? I need an answer for these guys. And the answer was the Combaticons. So obviously he has, not only has he dealt with them in the past as a Wrecker, but he's dealt with them now. Actually our opening scene, which I'm smoothing out as we speak, uh, has the Combaticons chasing both him and Rodimus. And we kind of explain how that came to be, right? We don't go into all the details, right? But we do go into the details of why the Combaticons are still chasing Autobots, how they came across uh, Springer and Rodimus, what were they doing, right? That, that they were caught up in the mix. And so within the experience that Springer has had against them, uh, he kind of knows what to expect. He can almost anticipate certain moves that they have, or he sees certain signs where he's able to say, you know what? I got a hunch that this is whatever the case may be. So we'll kind of see that interaction play out throughout the uh, film. We'll also see interactions between him and Rodimus 
that kind of they play off of each other, right? So Springer is the mature Autobot, obviously having a leadership role where Rodimus is, you know, again, I've mentioned it before. He's a senior college student where Smokescreen is a, is a freshman college student, right? And so Smokescreen picked up a lot of his immaturity from Rodimus. Uh, and so Rodimus has not had the type of growth that Smokescreen has had, right? So we're going to see some of that youth play out and we're going to start to see uh, and we're going to see Springer kind of correct them and be a mentor. But but he can only go so far. Uh, I think I think that as the movie progresses, um, there will be multiple people that add on to Rodimus's uh, maturity. But Springer's one of those guys. And I hope that Springer's character also helps us uh, grow grow internally as as the audience right i i can tell you firsthand optimus prime the original optimus prime and even i would even say the the prime uh universe optimus prime all of uh, his persona always helped us grow right he taught us right from wrong he told he taught us what it was like to be a leader he taught us not to abandon our peers and and and, and never quit right so there's a lot of things that we picked up from Optimus Prime that we, I, I know for myself, that I personally incorporated into my own character. Springer's going to be that same type of character. Now, what's really interesting about Springer is I want you guys to see the uh, the interactions that he has with, with other members, right? It's not just Bulkhead. It's not just Wheeljack. It's not just Rodimus. But it's also the new members of Team Prime. That's really going to be the interesting part and how that develops into the trilogy. So, guys... That's it for our character. Um, I'm, you know, since I touched base on Rodimus today, the next character I'll do will be Rodimus, and we'll go on from there. Guys, until the next one, thank you so much. Thank you for the encouragement. Stay safe. Keep it coming. Bye-bye.